Good morning, folks. Thanks for tuning in. This is going to be a quick video on basically cleanability and top coats of floors, whether it's polyaspartic or urethane, uh, the cleanability of each and what to look for when you're looking for a coating. Uh, the floor that I'm standing on now, this, well, we did a video approximately a month ago. Uh, this is the single component uh, CFS 1C polyaspartic top coat. Uh, it's the only place you can get it. And this floor is 30 mils thick. It has a 10 mil top coat on it. Very easy to clean, which I'm going to show you in the following video. Behind me, you can see my barn. That has a urethane top coat on. That is also a 30 mil thick floor, but it has the urethane, which is a thinner type coating. It's a little grippier than the polyaspartic. Okay, so both of these garage bays get drived on, drived, <laughs> get driven on uh, every day. Um, this floor here I have not cleaned in quite a while, but these are just water spots. And if you look at the reflection, you can see some of the dirt stuff, whatever on the floor. The rest of the floor looks pretty darn consistent. And if you look closely and try to get as close up as I can, you see the texture of this floor. Again, this is the polyaspartic. This is a really nice texture. Um, it's easy to clean. Um, all right, so I'm going to pour some oil on the floor. I'll show you what happens with that. Okay, so I'm going to be pouring some used oil from my truck. Not that it matters what kind of oil it is because black oil is black oil. But Ugh, Oh, my God, this kills me to <laughs> to do. All right, I'm just going to pour a puddle. I'm also going to pour a little bit of a streak there. Ugh. All right, now one thing I'm going to do is I have a timer. I'm going to start the timer. Oh boy, I never reset that. It's been going for 72 hours. All right. Not that you can really see that timer that good yet. Goodness, the light in here is horrible, isn't it? Yes. Okay. There we go. I'm setting that. I'm just going to let that run. We're going to go over to the other garage, my barn, and that's a urethane floor, and I'm going to show you what happens to a urethane floor and how easy that is to clean. Okay. This is where I park every single day with my dually. We're going to do the same thing right where I park. Thing. Oil is oil, whether it's a, an ounce or five gallons, I'm just going to let that sit also. Okay, moving right along, we're at nine minutes, 20 seconds. I'll probably just let it sit there 10 minutes or so. So I have my trash can there just because I know it's going to make a mess when I go to clean this up. Um, I do have my mop, so I'm going to show how to clean this whole floor. Um, it's super easy to clean. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to vacuum quick just to get some of the loose stuff off the floor. And then I will um, wet mop. And well, I am going to pick that oil up. Probably going to use paper towels first just because I don't want to waste a rag. By the way, I always keep a 20 foot hose on my shop vac. It makes it so convenient when you go to spot vacuum around your garage just because you can gain a lot more distance. With any flooring system, it's extremely important to keep abrasives off the floor. When you have cinders uh, or stones, whatever that you drag in from the road, uh, it grinds into the surface when you turn your, your wheels and you're basically sanding the surface and you can scratch the floor. So to keep your floor looking really good, keep the abrasives off. All right, that oil's been soaking for 12 minutes. I'm going to try to get as close as I can to this. Everybody knows I like to get like close-up shots of what I'm doing. OK, 
Okay, here we go. Pretty gruesome. I have degreaser here, but I don't think I'm going to use it. That's it. It completely wiped out. Now, one thing I do want to say about this. The reason why this is so easy to wipe up, this is a 10 mil top coat on this. I used the polyaspartic, uh, or single component polyaspartic in the last video that we did. Um, if you don't have a thick top coat on, it's gonna be harder to clean. The texture on this is very mild because it has that thick top coat on it. If you put a thin top coat on it, you're gonna have more texture, it's gonna be harder to clean. Now I'm gonna show you out in my barn that I have a urethane top coat on, and that urethane, although it is probably eight mils thick, it's a thinner viscosity material, and you feel some of the jagged edges of the flake, which is kind of known with that material. So I'm gonna take you over there next, I'll show you how to do that. First, I am gonna mop this up just to show how the water spots come up. All right, so there's one of the worst water spots. And not that water spots are hard to clean at all. Now this is dry, so I just need to soak that area up a little bit just so it's wet. And they come right off. So really what I normally do is I just wet mop where the tires go. I'll set this up, I'll just do the whole area here just so you see what I do. And if you do this like once every month or so, you're in good shape. So just wet my up as needed. This is just water. There's nothing in this. Like I said, I did have degreaser ready for that oil stain. Well, oil spot, but it didn't stain at all. And it came right up just by wiping it up. So it's all you need. Again, this is the polyaspartic top coat. Probably the best top coat available in the market today. Super easy to clean, chemical resistant. So we're going to mop really quick where we walk. I should probably have people take their shoes off when they come in my garage, but I don't. I don't know if anybody noticed, but I got the sign hung up since last time. Anybody saw that before or not? And my daughter somehow creatively placed that there, so I had to hang it. Okay, then we're going to mop this side really quick. Okay, we are all mopped up. You see the floor now. It is clean as new. One thing I want to go over, I, I know it's so hard to like show texture 
on the uh, surface. I don't know if you can hear. I mean, you hear a slight, slight hook every once in a while, but this is very smooth. You can slide your fingers over it. You don't catch on anything. And you're going to see a little bit of a difference with the urethane floor, just because, like I said, it's, it's a sharper, grippier floor. But this has that real three-dimensional kind of look to it. Again, this is a 10 mil top coat of the single component polyaspartic. And I'll have links to everything down below. Okay, so here we are in the barn. This is where I park every day. You can distinctly see where my dualies drive on here, which is just road dirt. And this was newly blacktopped, so unfortunately the tar from that seems to get pulled in here. So this is the oil I had poured down. Now I actually poured in the other garage first and started the timer over there the first time. So we're at 28 minutes here. It's probably more like 30 just because I poured this um, before the other. But anyway, um, I have my wet mop here. I'm going to set this up. I'm going to show you how to clean this up on this floor. This is the urethane top coat. Again, I'm going to try to show you texture. This is a little bit grippier than the polyaspartic. And I did this out here just because this is where, you know, I'm going to have equipment coming in and out and, and I want it a little bit grippier. So I, I wiped the towel on the floor in the other garage there with the polyaspartic. Can you hear? slightly grippier still smooth I mean you can feel you can feel texture for sure if I pushed really hard I wouldn't say it's scratching I mean you can kind of see if you push really hard there's definitely texture here but that's the advantage uh, or disadvantage I, I mean, it depends what you're looking for but the advantage of this floor is it's grippier should still be easy to clean but now you're going to have some dirt that lays in these valleys that you just might have to scrub a little bit harder for. Okay, here we go. This oil has been on about 30 minutes or 33 minutes, actually. I'm going to try to wipe up the bulk of this with paper towels. I've never let oil sit this long on the floor, so honestly, I don't know how this is going to clean up. But we'll find out. I have my trash can right here because I don't want to slop this place up. And... wiping up with no soap, which theoretically you shouldn't have to use soap, so there you go. Now, brought an old undershirt. There's a little film on there yet, but that is all cleaned up. So that's what you get after wiping oil for 32 minutes on the floor. Now what I'm going to do, you can see these tire marks here. I'm going to set this up on a tripod. I'm just going to wet mop it with no soap, just water, just to see what happens with that. Okay, I have this set up at an angle so you can see these tire marks on the right here. I have to watch with the glare. I want you to be able to see exactly what I'm doing. So again, this is just a wet mop, water only. I did not vacuum. I actually used a leaf blower earlier out here. So now this stuff is all dry on here. This is all water, uh, rain water stuff that's just road dirt, whatever. I'm just going to mop this a little bit, let it soak in, wet everything up because it's all dry. I definitely see the dirt coming off. This requires a little more scrubbing. This is pretty ground in road stuff here. OK. 
Okay. I'm going to throw mop out. Now, I'm going to do the other side. Turn this. I'm going to wipe over this again as soon as I get this all wet. It's all, it's all dry, crusty water stains. Now, one thing, I don't know if you can see this from the camera. I'm stopping right here. I'm going to show you something when I zoom in here as soon as I get done with this. Okay, so now this is right where I wet mopped. It's kind of hard to see there. The floor looks pretty good. Now, what I did want to show is this. See the line right there? Now, I experimented when I did this floor. I did polyaspartic on this front nose here. This is polyaspartic. This is urethane. And the polyaspartic stays cleaner, um, and it's also easier to clean when you need to clean it. Just the stuff doesn't stick to it as easy. So this is the single component polyaspartic. This is the urethane. And I'm going to see if you can hear if you can hear the actual rag. You can kind of hear it's a little grippy. That's the urethane. I don't know if you can hear the difference. I can feel the difference. It definitely glides easier on the polyaspartic than it does on the urethane. But both of which are very cleanable. It's not like you can't clean them. It's just the polyaspartic is, is cleaner or easier to clean um, and easier to maintain. So that's it. That's the urethane. Uh, this, uh, by the way, this top coat is, uh, I'm going to say, approximately 8 mils thick. We put it down at 10. And um, you probably lose about 20% of it because of the solvent's evaporating. So this floor is at like 28 to 30 mils. The other floor is the same thickness, 28 to 30 mils. Again, the top coat is extremely important. The thicker the top coat you put on, the easier it's going to be to clean. But the negative of that is if you put a thick top coat on, it also can be slipperier. So people ask me all the time, they're like, well, I want a floor that's super easy to clean, but real grippy so it's not slippery. Well, you can't have the best of both worlds, so you have to find the happy medium. So my opinion, the happy medium is that single component polyaspartic top coat, add a little bit of aluminum oxide, put it down 10 mils thick, and you're in good shape. So I do want to thank all of our um, past, current, and future customers for your support. Uh, I appreciate you having faith in me, uh, in our materials, our customer service. Uh, we try really hard to do what we do. And my goal is, is to uh, allow you to install your dream floor at one third, one quarter the cost of what it's going to cost if you had to hire somebody to do it. Um, if you have any questions at all, I make myself very available. I will put my cell phone number at the bottom of this. Uh, call me, text me if you have any questions about materials preparation, installation, any of the above. If you're a contractor, you can call me and ask me how, how you recommend bidding something. Uh, I've been doing this for a long time and uh, you know I may have some pointers, um, things to watch out for, things to look for when you're quoting projects. Um, and, and if you're a homeowner, likewise, if you have any questions about anything, please give me a call and make myself available. Thank you everybody for your support. We will see you on the next one.